That was good. That was good, ladies and gentlemen. Loud. What you mean louder? Louder. Yeah. Is that better? For me. Don't blow my eardrums. <laughs> you wanted yeah. it louder. You wanted it louder. I wanted it loud enough, but not to blow my eardrums. Well. But we're there. We live, baby. Well. 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 Um, hi everyone. Welcome to Storage Podcast. I, of course, am your host, uh, Libby Higgins, and it's uh, Halloween, obviously, can't you tell? Halloween! Let's give a special shout out here on Storage Podcast. Who do you think I'm going to give a shout out to? To, um, I want to say either Sis or F.O. Stanley. Nope. St- uh, Steven? Nope. Who? Oh. You. Okay, I thought you were going to say Stephen King. Nope. You, because you uh, set up all this. Well, you helped. And, um, because I'm done. It's 2 a.m., it's yeah, it's two a.m. and it's been a. Uh, we'll get to that in uh, shortly, but it's it's two a.m. It's like we've been trying to. You ever try to ride a bicycle on two flats and you feel like you're getting nowhere? Yeah, riding a bicycle on two flats, pedaling as hard as you can, and you're just not really moving too far. That's what today's been feeling like. Yeah. And I want to say it's because of the location we're at. Something, the energy, I, I, I'm not going to let it get to me, but um, I'll let you explain where we're at here after this. But I don't know if it's a coincidence or maybe it's just one of those off days or maybe it's because of where we're at. Who knows? You're and bleeding through. We're bleeding through each other's microphones. Hello? Is that okay? Okay. So what we'll do is I'm gonna lower this. Hello. Why is it bleeding so much through though? Hello. It doesn't matter. I'm just wondering why. It's because we're at the Stanley. Uh, I we're mean, at the damn Stanley. I'm never coming back here again. So this is your equipment, right? You yes. set it up and mess with it all the time. Mm-hmm. Everything's everything's connected, right? Yep. Looks right, and it never really bleeds like that. Or you? Um, I don't know. I just I've never paid attention to it like this. Sounds okay. Well, hopefully it sounds okay. We'll see. So go ahead, continue. Um. Yeah. I just I wanted to give him a special shout out and thank you personally. Um. I wanted to thank you from me. You're welcome. From me to you, because... You're welcome. Here's the deal, folks. Uh, I was done about 2 p.m. today. And um, he likes to push through. And I don't. Which is all right. Because we had planned this whole trip. Uh, Well, first of all, let me go way back. We planned this whole trip... Around the premise that we're going to stay at the Stanley, do an episode of Checking In, because that's where The Shining was filmed. And guess what, folks? We found out yesterday. That it's not. Wasn't filmed here. Just the inspiration. Yeah. Um. So that already put me in a bad mood. That's one. What's two? Two is... um. Uh, we always push ourselves to the absolute limits. Extremes? We push ourselves to the limits? What's the right word? No, it's... Uh, go ahead, continue. So I'm I'm already tired before we even get here. Um, what I need is... Um, 
If I'm going to continue to do checking in, I'm going to need a makeup person, a hair person, a producer, <laughs> an editor, someone to drive, um, someone to bring craft services. Because it's too much for two people. We can manage it, uh, obviously, but it's like, what the fuck, man? I'm not as young as I used to be is what I'm trying to say. Mm Mm-hmm. So, um, we, we found out that the Stanley wasn't shot here. So then... The Shining. The Shining. The Shining wasn't shot here. So then... I heard uh, a bunch of different things. I heard that it was built on top of a cemetery. That's false. Um, it not being shot here trips me out. So the story is Stephen King and his family stood here one night. And in room 217, he apparently, quote unquote, slept in and he had a nightmare. And the nightmare that he had inspired the book he wrote. Which in turn they made the the movie The Stanley afterwards. The Shining. The Shining. Ugh, I, I'm <laughs> my brain's at capacity too, folks. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. How did you know what button that was? You know what? I, I'm following my gut right now. <laughs> That's it. I'm I'm two for two right I now. I know you picked two perfect sound effects. And I'm just following my gut. Right, right, I'm. I have about fifteen percent of battery life. Left in left? my in my brain. You know how much I have? Negative uh, thirty seven. But you know what? I I work I work better under pressure. I feel like I do. Because it becomes it becomes a mind game to me. Like, nope. See, for you, it's harder for you because your it's your body that hurts you, right? Mm-hmm. You only have so much so you have your body that can limit you and then you have your brain. I could I try to shut my that that switch off in my brain to keep going. You can't shut off that pain. So I get exactly. It. So you're right. So I, I told myself like, you know what I could just, and I just like to fight through because, um, I mean, I'm not working tomorrow. Um, and I'm like, you know what? Let me just try, let's try to get this done. And if it works, it works. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. So, Wherever she lacks, if she's tired, I'll just try to pick up. The, oh, stop! Uh, or I try to pick up the slack. And don't get me wrong, she helps me a lot of times too. So there's times where I might be down, or I might be. She asks me what's wrong. So it just it's um I could be her co-pilot, she could be my co-pilot, and yeah, that's just how it goes. <laughs> wrong button. Yeah, you, you didn't pick the right one on that. Um. So what room are we in? We're in room 106, which is not the two spooky rooms. You can either get 217, which is where Stephen King stayed, and the other one's 407. I'm not too sure, but you know what's odd? What? His wife has a room on another floor. It's that that means they weren't fucking. So, and she said, what? They didn't stay in the same room? Well, he might have been working, writing. Now that I think about it, he might have been writing. Because you know what? In the story, he's... Well, you know what's crazy? In the movie, you know how the actor was yelling at his wife because he wanted to write? Because he's a lunatic? I wonder if that's a, a split image of Stephen King with his wife. Maybe. Maybe he maybe she, maybe he wrote that in there, and that's part of their relationship. So if that was the case... That makes sense why she would be in another room because he yelled at her in the movie and he said to leave him, even though she was trying to help him. He pretty much said, if you want to help me get the fuck out of here. Yeah. And um, I've never watched the movie until last night. First night. First time, first time watching saw it. it. And um, I was I will say the soundtrack, the sound. Uh, what do they call it? Score. The score of the band is intense. It's intense. <laughs> But, um, yeah, so her room's in a different floor. His in a different floor. And I didn't think about him. That's probably right. You're probably right. They probably had different rooms. She probably gave him a space so he could write that or so he could. What? You know, he probably had a little shoddy pull up in the middle of the night, a little ghost shoddy. (laughs) 
I wonder if a ghost shorty's going to come in here tonight. <sighs> well, well, I haven't really been paying attention. I did run into across an experience earlier, which I'll explain later. But earlier the door opened. I think it was, I didn't close it all the way. She freaked out. Um, there is different stories of different ghosts. There's one that supposedly, what's his name? Ghost Stinker. Mr. Stinker. <laughs> his name's Stinker something, Man or something Stinker like Stinker Man, that. something like that, where apparently he uh, he was He's a ghost stankin'. that stunk, and he likes to kiss women on the cheeks. He's, he likes he likes c- coming around smelling like dookie. And it's supposedly he found out that he smelled bad, and in turn later on came back smelling good. And he likes to... Sounds like a bunch of malarkey to me. And and, and he also likes to play with women's hair in the... Uh, I welcome the, in that. The, in the dance hall, I think it's called. I welcome that. Come on <laughs> over here and start playing with my hair. Because when somebody touches my hair, I'm like. Yeah, same. Same, baby. Um, What was I going to say? Oh, the the film was actually um, filmed in Oregon and, and in England. And in Utah, right? The intro they have some. The in- the intro with the trees, from what I understand, was filmed in Montana. Um, talk about a budget. <laughs> I read a I read a review. They I guess they had built a um, maze out there. Oh, I'm sorry. I make I was kind of blocking you there. <laughs> the maze um, sucks. Apparently. Yeah. Um. I don't want to talk down bad on the Stanley because she mentioned that earlier. She's like, I don't want to talk bad about the place. And I'm like, we're not talking bad about the place. We're just going to just talk about it, our experience, right? And it is Halloween, you know, um, as yeah. you can see our decorations. This is his, and he got all the decorations and everything. Look at that one. It says keep. And then this one says out. <laughs> Made out. of pure blood. And then we have. Beware. It's a real tombstone. When we got here, um, she asked about if if they had um, an entrance that was accessible to handicapped people. Is that it? Disabled people. Disabled. And she had a rough time. I mean, it's an old hotel. When I say she had a rough time, is because <sighs> the elevator was like this big, right? One and a half people could fit in there. Not only that, um, the stairs to get in, uh, and I get it. It's an old hotel, but they mm-hmm. make a lot of money here. Right. But I get it. They don't want to alter it too much. They want to keep the authenticity of it. So it makes sense. So... We got past that loophole, <laughs> and then I went vlogging out there, and I put a mic on my camera. Something happened where it didn't, the audio didn't record. That's two. Then I go to Stephen King's room, 217, <laughs> and I shit you not, I'm knocking on the door, right? Not thinking somebody might be in the room. I'm thinking, you know what, it's, it's people pay to stay in that room, and it's booked year, year round, but I thought it was going to be vacant. So I'm knocking on it, I'm knocking on it, and then I hear a weird sound. I hear it again. Then some other people approach. I explain to them what happened, and next thing you know, it happened again. So they were startled, like, what the hell? So I'm I'm thinking I'm recording the whole time. I come back to tell <laughs> Libby, like, oh, my God, check this footage out. The footage is nowhere to be found. <laughs> so now I'm like, I sound like a liar. So I take yep. Libby up there. We're out there for about 20 minutes. Nothing. Nothing. And then a nice couple arrives oh, that was staying in the room, and they were nice enough to let us check out the room. And... It doesn't look like they. It doesn't look like anything like the original room. I guess they upgraded it, and they got rid of the old bathtub or whatnot. Um, so I'm there's a, no. You can't go in there and sniff one of the seats and be like, "Oh, Stephen King sat here." It smell like Dookie. Because <laughs> they changed. They changed all this, this, the furniture and stuff. 
Um, so if you think you're going in there to kind of get a whiff of Stephen King, you're not, dude. I think your feet are in my way again. Ugh. I'm right. wondering if I should move that camera. Which way? I don't know. To the right? Did you hear what I said, though? Because I, I want to get. I want to make sure you have room to crop, I said, crop and zoom. You think you'll have room? Looking at it. I'm thinking maybe move it over this way a little bit. All right. Let me get out. Did you hear what I said, though? Uh, I said. Excuse me. I'm thinking I should move that. Knowing damn well. I just don't want this thing to. To fly off and kill us. Right. We we ain't got enough teeth between us right now. All right. <sighs> so, yeah, this is our Halloween episode. Harold had the idea like, oh, since we're going to be there and it's it's spooky, let's just do your storage Halloween episode. Yeah, baby. Yeah. All I see is a long foot. All right. <laughs> there we go. We got pumpkins here. He got pumpkins. We have apples. Why there's an apple? Listen, ASMR. God, I'm jealous. I'm so mm. jealous you can just bite into an apple. But I, I bite with my back teeth. You just bit, bro, bit it with your front. No. Juicy baby. Yeah. But we got our pumpkins right here. Um, she has her Coca-Cola Zero over there. Nasty as hell. Because. And I have my Sprite over here. I'm just going to be honest with you. Uh, we paid $400 for this room. And I've had nicer rooms at uh, Quality Inn. There's not even a fridge in here, brother. The AC, it's not even, a, it's AC with a hose that goes out the window. <laughs> and I get that. They're trying to make it very authentic. But if you're trying to make it authentic, don't have a Keurig in here. Because they didn't have that back in 1909, brothers. No, you, you don't want it right now, eh? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Knock yourself out. Have at it. And they have a nice patio. And that's another thing, too. I took my drone out there, right? It's raining outside. I'm like, oh, you know what? This is this is gonna set the mood. It's gonna be eerie. I fly my drone, and I had problems with the SD card. Then we come inside, and she was having problems with her SD card, needing to reformat. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? Because it's like one thing after another. But I said, nope, not today. We're gonna uh, push through this. And here we are. Mm. Have you had any um paranormal experiences? No. What about nightmares? In real life, you mean? Yeah, in real life. Oh. No, never. Never seen a The only weird paranormal thing that ever happened to me is Right after I left my husband. Oh, well. I'm not done yet. Right after I left my husband, um, I had a dog named Chico, right? Your feet are in my way again. Damn it. Why don't why don't we move that just no, no, over no, no. out We're of the good. way? We're good. We're so good. So you can be comfortable. I am comfortable. I just don't know why I keep doing that. Um so I had just left my husband. Very, I'm gonna mute it. Very, um, you know, sad, depressed, scared, anxious. And I had my dog Chico with me, and I went to stay with my mom at the farm. And and Chico was out there, and I was just out with Chico in the yard and enjoying nature and. I uh, I felt really, I was really down, you know, probably one of the most down times I'd ever been at that time. And I looked at Chico, 
And around Chico, my black lab, was a green-blue aura. What? What is that? Um. Oh, oh. Like a blue. Yo, can you hear me? Yeah. Like a blue light all around his body. Oh, wow. It was probably just the light was hitting him in the right. No. Okay. And I like did okay. my eyes like this. And looked again, and it was still there. And um, that's probably the weirdest paranormal thing that ever happened. Yo, yo. All right, sorry. I know I was chewing in your guy's ear. Um, Was that, you think that was a coincidence? You think You think it was actually something? I think I saw, I think because I was so high, vulnerable, I was not high, so vulnerable and um, maybe grief stricken. Maybe I was sensitive to no, something. No, no. You've you seen a ghost. Let's just be real. We probably did see something. When? Um, when you seen that, no? I didn't see a ghost. I saw an aura around my dog. It could have been a ghost, but I, I mean, I'm assuming ghosts don't come in. Ooh, it could be. I, I've heard people say that um, sometimes they see things from the peripheral of their eye and they, they disappear really quick. Have you ever heard of auras, though? No. Auras are a, a, a colored light that everybody has around them. So it's just like their energy field. Okay. And I guess some people can see them. Oh, so that was probably a good thing, no? It was good, and from what I've heard is blue and green light is a good light to have around you. Um, I don't think that was a paranormal. Um, I keep looking at I you. I think it's paranormal because you don't walk around looking and seeing auras around people, and I saw it around my dog. Oh. Hmm. Interesting. I've... I've never encountered, um, I don't think, anything. I've heard uh, maybe things, but any anytime I've heard things that could have potentially been something, which is, I, I just tell myself, that ain't real. That ain't real, whatever. It's a coincidence. But, yeah, I've never encountered anything, to be honest. I've had some crazy nightmares. I have some real... Crazy nightmares, uh, almost out of body experience nightmares where I wake up and I could still feel I it's been a long time since I felt this, but I'd wake up from a crazy dream and I'd still feel that energy around me. Oh, that happens to me all the time. And when I say the energy, I felt like I, I was being attacked. I was a young kid, though, at the time, but it felt weird. I don't know how to explain it, but I haven't felt that in a long time. Now I just wake up from a nightmare if I do have one, and it's just like, okay, whatever. It was a nightmare or whatever. But when I was younger, I would feel it. Like, it wouldn't let me go, whatever it was. But I said... You'd feel it all day? No, just for a couple of hours, like for an, for maybe half an hour. But I would feel almost like... um, Like, my mind would be cloudy, if I could remember. I'm going to try to... Exp- Clouded up almost like I couldn't scream in my sleep. Maybe it was, what do they call it, paralysis? Night terror? Where you're trying to scream and you can't. And um, I know an uncle of mine, he played the Ouija, the, he played the Ouija board with his friends and he said that that night, the enemy, I like to say the enemy, um, pretty much appeared to him and was holding him down. They called it sleep paralysis. And then my uncle was trying to scream. And he couldn't, he couldn't, he couldn't. And then he just started to pray and then he woke up. Mine was similar, but once I was up, I still felt that whatever negative energy around me. But I'm so very- you're, you were uh, finding me seeing an aura around my dog very. When you said aura, I didn't get what you meant at first. I thought you, you- were finding that very ridiculous, but you think, quote unquote, the enemy was. Holding you down, dude. Well, they call. There's other people that are gonna. I'm sure they can relate. They call it. It's a thing. Sleep paralysis. Right. That I believe in. I don't believe a devil comes and holds you down. Then what is it? Like there are people that say that they feel like something's sitting on their chest. Yes. 
That's what sleep paralysis then, then is. Who, it ain't no. It ain't no. It ain't, no, it ain't your son or your girlfriend sitting on your chest. Like there's nothing there, and it's just on you. But my uncle told me he's seen something. You know, so whether the story's true, who knows? But um, there's a lot of crazy shit out there. I don't believe in the devil. And then it's crazy because they were doing uh, there. There's they have different like tours here, and there's on the, the third floor they have they like a little thing where they read your cards. And there was a group of people, and the guy was doing whatever he was doing. They were doing a seance. A seance. I don't. There's white magic and black magic. I don't believe in no magic, right? You no, know which magic I believe in? What you? What magic? Uh, the guy that uh, Chris Angel. Who's that? Is that the guy that that wears, magician that wears black all the time? <laughs> yeah. And you know what tri- trips me out about his voice? He's oh, he talks very. Monotone, because he's cool. Very relaxed. Very, he's almost too cool. Where it's scary, he's done some. Because sh- he's done magic, man. He's made a person be cut in half. Hey, more power to you if you could do it. But that guy creeps me out. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's let's. Uh, I feel like I feel like people give power to negative, weird stuff like that. Like that's just not real. You, you know what it is? It's curiosity. It's like, what if it's real? I, you know, like, I think us as human beings, we... <sighs> People want an explanation for everything, so they just start making shit up. Hey, you probably... That, that could be true. I will tell you, do you know the story about me playing with a Ouija board? No. Tell it. Me and my friends every day in sixth grade would play with Ouija board and... Lo and behold, I can't believe you've never heard this story. No. Lo and behold, the ghost that we contacted uh, was a teenager. Okay. And since we were horny uh, sixth graders, the supposed ghost. Now, I know I wasn't moving it, so it was either Rhonda or Kathy moving the little thing, faking us Rhonda, and Mike, if we played it, it would be Carlos and Enrique. <laughs> Rhonda and Kathy. And one of them made it spell out. Do you know how a Ouija board works? I don't want to know, but I kind of. Yeah. You put your hands on it and it's supposed to move to letters to spell stuff out. Okay. So apparently the teenage ghost boy was like, want to have sex. <laughs> it, it, it said that for real? It didn't say that. One of my friends moving the thing. Made it say that. How does she do that? Because you just very lightly hold it. So oh. you don't know who's pushing it, you know? <laughs> but they're like, I swear I'm not moving it. And I'm like, well, I guess I have to have sex with the ghost now. So okay. I lay down on the bed, you know. Okay. I lay down on the bed and I'm like, I'm having sex with the ghost now. You know, I'm laying there like this. This is how I laid down. Laid like this. And I'm like, is he, is he doing it yet? And they're like, let us let me ask. And it's like, they say, are you having sex with her yet? And then they move the thing. How old were you? Sixth grade. Wow. Listen, I'm not done yet. They move the thing. It's called the planchard, I think. It says yes and no at the top, or it has all these letters. It moves over to yes. So the ghost was having sex with me, and I'm like, I don't feel anything. And then at one point, I guess because I was getting a little horny, I guess. I'm like, I kind of feel something. And I think it just was my, you know, area just moving. Oh, it was tingling. So I <laughs> I am, I'm pretty sure that uh, I lost my virginity to a ghost. To a ghost. What was the ghost's name again? We call him Tanner. Me and um, Tina named him Tanner. Well, shout out to Tanner. And we like to think of Tanner as a Civil War uh, ghost. Mm. And um, in a bunker, he would just, he was in a he died in a bunker somewhere. That's how horny we were as as kids. We were so horny that we wanted to have sex with a ghost, and I was the only one that had sex with the ghost. Nobody else did. Wow. 
do I include him in my count of how many people I've had sex with? Does he count? I don't know, but uh, if a ghost has sex with you tonight, that one will count. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Speaking of which, um, I want to say we have a guest tonight. He's a little shy or she's a little shy. We don't know if they're here. Well, let's see. Let's ask him. What? It, if you're here, spirit or ghost, turn on the Keurig and make uh, coffee come out and go into that clear cup. This is your last chance, Ghost. If you're in here, take the Keurig coffee capsule pod, put it in the Keurig, press on, and make coffee. Well, I wanna, I wanna say we should give. Um, I want him to feel welcome. So if you're here. Don't be scared. Don't be um, shy. You know, um, everybody wants to hey, say hi to you. We have a special seat for you right here. Thank you for um, allowing us into your home. But at any given moment during this podcast, if you want to give us a sign, you know, go ahead. Shoot your shot is what I'm saying. I, I'm I'm not a big fan of, of the way ghosts function, though. And I've said this before, and I'll say it again. Don't walk around here going, ooh, and all that stuff. Do something worthwhile. Maybe get the vacuum and vacuum. I, I, if I was a ghost, I'd just fart well, randomly. I believe it. <laughs> and see, that's actually doing something. Just walking around going, ooh, is not uh, productive. That's not a good way to spend spend your afterlife by just going around going ooh and turning turning lights on and off. Like what? What's a point? Unless I say, "Hey, would you turn the light on?" <laughs> then it's effective. But just walking around flickering lights and and all this nonsense is ridiculous. Well, if the power goes out, we know who it is. Who is it? Mr. Stinker? Mr. Spooky Man. <laughs> Mr. Spooky Man. Mr. Spooky Man. <laughs> There's also a um, a story of a cowboy ghost. What's That's, his deal? I don't know, but he's, he, he's dressed like a cowboy that appears. Um, oh, he's dressed as a cow. That's hot. There's also a story where on the third floor, I believe... They constantly hear like people stomping upstairs and there's no rooms upstairs. There's also a story where there's a guy that appears in the shower or in the closet of a room. Um, which I wonder if these were made up over the years or if they're really real. Of course they're made up. I mean, I'll, you I'll never say, know. I'll keep saying that it's made up until I actually see... Uh, either a child-like ghost walked through here. And for some reason, little children ghosts always wear, like, their pajamas or, like, suits. Unless I see a little child walk in here in her little nightgown and going, Hello, I'm from England. But I'll tell you this much. I'll be more, I'd be more scared of seeing a little child ghost than an adult. If I see an old man ghost or... But a little child, if I seen a ghost that was a child or a kid, that is sh that is uh, scary shit shook? out of me. Yeah. What if the old man comes in and goes, "Hey, pull my finger." I'd pull his finger. But you try to, and it's just an apparition. You can't really pull it. <sighs> yeah, but if let's say I bend the corner and there's a little girl in the hallway with a with a dress, just looking at me, and she goes, "Hello." And then I turn around to walk the opposite way, and then her twin sisters on the other side looking at me. I mean, then what am I going to do? You're just going to walk back in here and tell me what you saw and I'll say you're lying. Exactly. See, that go so so all the myth, all the stories about those ghosts that have been um presented here have been have showed themselves here. 
They're probably real, but nobody believes these people. I don't believe it. You know what I believe? I believe the Stanley Hotel is a tourist trap. Could be. I believe that they're making up stories about this being the most haunted place in Colorado. They get these people in here. They spend $400 on a room and stay up all night, try to look for ghosts, and nothing happens. Yeah, doing podcasts at 4 in the morning. (laughs) I mean, come on. Well, you know what? Be careful what you say because the night is young, honeys. Well, this is... And I'm not... And in the middle of the night, psh, good luck. When you go it use that bathroom... It is the middle of the night. When you go use that bathroom by yourself and I'm sleeping, if I hear... If you say something... You said seen something, I'm gonna be like, you're lying. You're lying. Because <laughs> I ain't gonna believe you. I'll tell you that much. Well, here's the deal. <laughs> uh, I'm calling bullshit on the Stanley Hotel. All right. I call um, bullshit. It's a tourist trap. Man, she's man. These ghosts right now, they're like, oh, we gonna fuck with her. Yeah, they're gonna be like, she gonna fuck around and find out. She's gonna find it's out. It's kind of like my way of of using reverse psychology. Yeah, and taunting them. them. I get it. I see. I see what you're doing. They're gonna pin me down tonight, and I'll end up in a mental hospital. Now, this hotel was built in 1909, I believe. And she was telling me, like, man, I wonder how these people commuted up here. Yeah, how the heck did they get up here with all the snow? It took us two hours, and we barely got here in the car. Imagine with the steamboat, with the steam vehiculars. Because uh, P.O. Stanley and his brother. F.O. They, F.O. Stanley and his brother had a, uh, what Fuck did they have? Stanley. They had a um, steam. They, the guy invented steam-powered cars. Yeah. And for whatever reason, it didn't go that far. But, um, yeah, how did the hell they get up here? It Who must knows? have taken days and days. Yeah. Hello, Margaret. Let's go on down to the Stanley Hotel, <laughs> just outside Denver. We should be there in 45 days' time. That's how those people talk back then. We should be down there in 45 days' time. Then they write letters and shit to each other. Dunbar. You know how long it took to send a letter back then? Weeks. Now you... Send a text message, it's instantaneous. I know, it's crazy. Like, Google's my best friend. I, I could I'll Google search everything and anything. You be Google searching booty holes? Yeah, brown booty holes, pink ones. <laughs> What's your favorite color booty Ooh, hole? pink. Not pink, but just like... Skin color? Ooh, man, those are rare. What color is my booty hole? It's It matches your tone. I don't know what color mine is, I'll tell you that much. Let me see. I mean, I'll tell you this much, probably leaning towards the browner side. <laughs> I mean, just look at my skin color. I mean, let's just be honest, but it, it's... um. Why don't it, you show it right now on the podcast? Sh- well, I guess they're going to have to check out my OnlyFans. Uh-oh, we ain't, do- <laughs> we ain't doing no free OnlyFans plugs on here. Uh, but you know what? <laughs> when it comes to my booty hole, I got to say it like that. Booty hole... <laughs> I I clench like there's been times like I, I I don't I don't know it just feels weird when when a finger's trying to go down there or a tongue is trying to slip down there it's like I don't like my butt played with. The night is young. <laughs> I heard yeah, there was a ghost, ghost here that had a booty hole fetish. <laughs> a booty hole fetish for a brown booty hole. But um, how do we start talking about booty holes, anyways? Um. I don't know, but that doesn't matter. We're just flowing with the convo here. Yeah. Um, and the driest leg you've ever seen. How dry that thing is. Look like a de- look like them red alligator shoes you got. <laughs> it looks like my lips earlier. My lips, <laughs> man. This altitude, we're like eight, like nine thousand feet above Let's sea look. level. And uh, the higher we go, the chap, the more chap my lips get. My lips. Let me get, get my glasses so out and see here. exactly how high we are. Oh, come on, man. The funky ass self. It won't, it won't show me. Cause the yeah, I believe a mile is 5,280 feet. So we're about a mile and a half above sea level. Maybe a little more. Damn. That's pretty high. We're 7,647 feet. Oh, wow. Pretty, pretty cool, huh? Yeah, that's, that's pretty. That's about 2,000 more than uh, 
than Denver. Man, maybe that's why I was feeling grumpy too. Grumpy? You were grumpy when? Huh? I didn't notice it. That's because you got the hell out of here. You're like, I'm out of here, lady. <laughs> but but you were grumpy um, prior to getting here when you were here. Oh, oh okay. as soon as I sh- showed up and the man told me, oh, it's just park around the back. It's just go right <laughs> down the thing there and your room's right there. Well, that wasn't the case. And I go, I sir, there's it. steps over there. And he goes, yeah, just a few. Okay. A few too much, too many. Would you would you say uh, there's a few steps to someone that's in a wheelchair? No. The the thing is most of the most of the employees you had talked to they're young and they probably don't know any better. They I mean, I I, I get what you mean, but they're probably like, oh it's to them it's not too many, but to you it's like shit. I'm already at capacity. Right. So I get it. They don't know. So yeah, the people that work here are very nice. That little fella at the front desk was showing him all kind of stuff and telling him all kind of folklore. Yeah, they have uh they have the original keys locked in a safe from the rooms for the doorknobs. For and he the, said in a vault. In and a I'm vault. like, whoa, oh. that's intense, brother. And he said, you want to see, uh, they had replicas behind the counter. He said, you want to see one of the originals? Uh, and I guess it's uh, Stephen King's uh, room key. And he gave it to us. I held it. But what's to say that's bullshit and that's not even the real one? But yeah. it, I, it could be. It looked old. It looked real old. It didn't look. Uh... He showed us two. He goes, which one do you think is the original? One? And of course, I got it right away because the other one looked like it was made <clears throat> in a freaking. Backyard garage. Candy store. Candy store. <laughs> Look at that picture over there with the people. I know. See, man, it's crazy. Man, where like, is that? That's here somewhere. But where? That's that building to the... It's The f- lodge? Next door to the lodge. Across the street, there's another building. I think that might be it. There's a couple different buildings here. We're in the original building. Um, I accidentally hit this uh, lampshade over here and... More dust than I've ever seen in my life came off of it. Come on in. Oh, I thought I seen a ghost. I was inviting them in. Now, everybody knows um, that you don't invite ghosts in. And you um, just did. I'm being sarcastic. You know, it's called <laughs> sense of humor. Do you Do you think that the ghost knows the difference? I mean, they should know. Shoot. The ghost is like, hey, he's to come in. <laughs> well, the window's open. I mean, he would he would let himself in if he wanted to in the first place. He would just do it. True that. That's what they do. They just do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. So let's get back to the color of your butthole. You said maybe kind of brown? Um, Yeah. Could be. Um, I mean... Could be. Very so. Let me see that booty hole. I mean, I, I it's just say yeah, I get uptight when it comes to my booty hole. <laughs> I just get like just clench. It just like <laughs> I just don't feel don't feel like I've had like women try to go down there and lick the butthole and I just clench. I can't. It's uh it's like an instant You haven't find you haven't found the right booty hole liquor. Oh well, I mean and they do say that that's the man's G spot, but um, I mean, I ain't trying to fuck around and find out. <laughs> Are you afraid that somebody will say, "Ooh, your butthole stinks"? Nah, it's just I don't know. It just it's very. Uh, it's because you've heard your whole life it's gay if you like booty hole stuff. Not only that, but it just doesn't add up in my book. Why? I don't know. It just doesn't. I mean, I could pull my legs far behind my back. Do it. I mean. Do it right now. Uh, hold on. I could do that, but uh, that don't mean I want that thing lit. <laughs> I 
was that? <laughs> If that doesn't get a ghost to come in here, I don't know what will. <laughs> Nothing will. You can't tell me that you <laughs> <laughs> you spread them legs like that, and you don't want nobody to lick it. No, what's your funky? I, I'm pretty flexible, and and that was uh. Mm. I mean, that's not the first time you spread like that. That's been practiced and perfected. <laughs> I stretch a lot, man. <laughs> you don't stretch. You go to the gym and stretch like that? <laughs> Imagine going to the gym and you see a guy in a corner just pulling his legs behind his back like that. It's for, as for his pre-warm-up. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's that's not the move of somebody that that it doesn't like butthole pleasure. That's a little that's a little sus, ain't it? <laughs> and the way you just approach the camera as I casually eat an apple right after I just did that, and then the bulge sticking, <laughs> the bulge. <laughs> Hey, this ain't the switcheroo. You don't get to touch the buttons. I've been touching them buttons. I know. But back to the, um, just because I did that. I did that because I do that. On, she seen me do that about, what, <laughs> 20 times? I love it. I have so many pictures of him doing it because it's so funny. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's the, it's the bulge on top for me. It's the smile, right? <laughs> As I do it. <laughs> Like, what are you doing, bro? I don't want you to go to the gym and do that, please. <laughs> In a Speedo? <laughs> no, I'm so up with this guy. No, just regular. Just regular workout clothes. <laughs> I imagine what, what, one of these ghosts, if they, they are here and they've seen that. <laughs> they're, they're gone now. But what would what would an old a old woman's go, uh, name be? Like, if it was like, what's an old-timey name? Mabel. Mabel, okay. Well, Mabel probably liked it. Mabel was probably like, "Let me look at booty hole." Or Come jo- on. Or Joanne. You like Joanne? Joanne, just the name Joanne sounds hot. Hmm, that's mm-hmm. funny. Yeah, Joanne. Give me a Joanne a Joanne accent. What would what would Joanne sound like? We know what Joanne sounds like. What's that? Hello. Hi, hi. How you doing? Is that your daddy at the door? Oh, Joanne. Okay. Joanne ain't been out in a hot minute. She needs to get that dust knocked off that. <laughs> I like your hat. Thank you. Shout out to Goodwill. <laughs> it's waterproof. Really yeah, catchy. this is this is from the the Goodwill challenge we did. Goodwill challenge. And um I got her a few items, a few accessories, and she happened to have this one with her today. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna just throw it on. I don't care if it got flowers on it. So. He's got the whole, he loves that Goodwill outfit. It just doesn't make sense, which for me, it's that's the best part, you know? Like them, like them, like that, uh, the ashy skin don't make no sense either. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you get some lotion and put them on there then? Man, that lotion, who knows where that is? We got so much stuff in this room. It's ridiculous. Why, why? It's on. Real. We need one of these ghosts to come in here and la- uh, lather up them ain't them them legs. <laughs> I mean, they look like lizard skin. Like my shoes. <laughs> For should real. I, should I show my shoes? You can. You know where they are. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. Let me show my shoes. I smell a foot odor. It ain't me. It ain't me. I got clean socks on. Ladies and gentlemen, he's going to go get the shoes that I picked out for him at Walmart. I mean, Goodwill. Uh Uh-oh. There she go. Oh, my God. I mean, we're not even in this room 24 hours, and we have more stuff. I think they're under the bed right here. I have uh, what's called photographic memory. What size do you think those are? Twelve. Can you see? Yep, look at them shoes. 
I'd like to think that the gentleman that owned those was a real cool guy. Yeah. And he wears them things like, like there is everyday tennis shoes. No, 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 no. I've been, I've been wearing them because I call it. I'm just throwing shit together. Oh. I've been wearing them because uh, since we've been doing different photo shoots in different locations and we're always on the go, I've just been wearing them just in case, you know, we pull up somewhere and there's a nice scenery, then we do a photo shoot. All about a photo shoot. In the brown polyester pants. I'm hoping to get a photo shoot with a ghost. If they could come out. Come out, come out, wherever you are. They need to come out and put some lotion on these damn feet. They sure do. Um, What did you just touch? I was just looking at the time. Oh. Pop goes the, the weasel. weasel. Let's do a harmony. Okay. Um, just give me a, f- a phrase of what we're going to say. Or you know what? You just start it and I'll just follow you. Okay. I don't know what you... Okay, base it on... Where are uh, all uh, the uh, ghosts? Where, 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 where are all... The Why are you singing like a ghost. third grader? <laughs> Sing it with some with some because feeling. There's people next door. Can okay, you follow me? Where are the ghosts? I can't even. <clears throat> Where? <laughs> <laughs> I can't hear myself. Well, I could. Where? 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 <laughs> I'm waiting for you to get your get your get your thing. Where is Mister? Where is Mister? Stinker at Stinker at Where is Mister Stinker? Where is Mister Stinker? Stinker at Stinker at Brown pink booty hoe, brown <laughs> pink booty hoe. Where are you? Right there. Where are you? Right there. Is your butthole pink or brown? Is, is your butthole pink, pink or brown? Pink or brown? Mine is brown. It's too. <laughs> it's too late in the night to sing properly. It ain't. I feel like I'm laying in the hospital bed, and those are my last moments before I pass on to the next world. And to the other side. Wherever. Don't talk. Don't talk too soon, because they those ghosts are waiting for you. I don't fucking. Bu- <laughs> if they were waiting for me, they'd be in here right now. You're an angel, Mister. I'm an angel. You're an angel. Yeah, they can't mess with me because I'm an angel. You tell them. Nope, they can't. What are the chances that you could spread your legs so far again? And put a pumpkin where your bulge would be. No, I, I only. <laughs> I, why would I do that? Or an apple? Uh, <laughs> did you say for an apple? Or an apple, a pumpkin? We I got. don't care. One of them things. Put one of them things on your on your Halloween. Bulge. And then what? And then what? Then I laugh, and then that's it. What's wrapped up? What's wrapped, wrapped up, up over there, over there? What it looks is like a cake. cake. It, it looks, looks like, like a cake. cake. What is it? What are you looking at? It's like black and orange, and it's wrapped up. On the thing right here? Mm-hmm. That's the, the flashlight. Oh, we still have to do the flashlight stories. We better shut this down. Okay, I was to say we could do it here, or we could do it in the next segment, or we could just save that for the vlog. Well, we got to do it for checking in. Oh, for the checking in. This is storage. Oh, you're right, you're right. Well, then, um, will we come back? Doubt it. Is this place um, a hype? And... 
I don't know. I don't know. Um, do they need to upgrade some things? Yes, they do. Do they need to put refrigerators in the room? Refrigerators. They need a better AC unit. I don't give a shit about the AC. They do need a fridge in here, though. Mm-hmm. Because we have lunch meat and soda pops that we need. Yes, honey. You know me. I need a soda pop nice and cold, baby. Damn. I had to bring it down. Damn. That's, this is a late night tip with Harry. Did yeah. you ever release late night tip with Harry? Yeah. You did? Yeah, I did it. I did that thing, baby. I don't remember. What did we talk about? We talked about this, that, and the... Other thing. Tell them, honeys. Well, I'm trying to think if, uh, well, we're going to summon this ghost one more time. All right. Ghost, ghost from the other side. If you would like to present yourself, come hang out with us. Come eat an apple. Come toot with us. Feel free. You're welcome. Maybe you can have a threesome with us. Look, give us some of that little ghost dick. Whatever you want. Just a ghost sh- pussy. Show yourself, daddy. <laughs> wow, wait, what? I just say that because she always will says you spread, that. Will you spread for it? No. <laughs> what if it's the hottest ghost you've ever seen and she's like, I just really want to lick your butthole. No, because I feel like she's tricking me and then and the next thing you know, her face is going to turn into like a <laughs> creep or something. <laughs> That's how that girl in the Stanley got his ass. Mm-hmm. She looked she got cute. His ass. She looked cute, and then as soon as he got close to her, she was all dead, and she was laughing. Uh, uh-uh, uh, you ain't gonna, you ain't gonna get me, honey. Mm-hmm. I'm not getting catfished by no ghost. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> well, you would get catfished by a ghost, but guess what? I got ghosted by a ghost because after I had sex oh. with that ghost, never to be heard of, heard from again. He, he played my ass, took he, my, I, my, my. <laughs> Virginity and then was gone. He was gone. He hit that and left. He hit it and literally left. Disappeared. Get it? Left this mortal plane. <laughs> that pussy was too good. That's why. Mm-hmm. Well, thanks for coming on my podcast. Anytime, honeys. Thanks for setting everything up. You're welcome. Can I just go to sleep right here? Sure can. How's your breath? All I can think about is doing those those ghost stories, and my bad. breath's gonna smell like straight up dookie. It's all right, <laughs> you know. Okay. Ain't it'll be the first time. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stand your way. A joke. Yeah. Touch me. Pull my arm. You pull my arm. I pull yours. Ready? You pull pull we'll pull each other's arms at the same time. One, two, three. Ooh. <sighs> all right. Yeah, yeah. Signing off. Signing off. Adios. Hasta la vista, baby. Spread your legs. Show me your big old bulge. Spread your legs and show me how brown it is. Want to see that brown booty hole. It's brown booty hole. Peace. Ow.